Fala galera, welcome back to another video. It's Marina here for those who don't know. And today I am starting a new series on this channel. It's gonna be a Netflix documentaries that are worth watching series. And this not uh doesn't just include Netflix original documentaries. It's all of the documentaries that are worth watching on Netflix. Obviously, I will be talking about documentaries that are more related to sustainable living, uh, the environment, veganism, animal rights, and such things. And if you already love these kind of things, please consider subscribing. You will not regret it. I make all sorts of videos about veganism, sustainable living, travels, book recommendations, and now documentary recommendations. So I'm sure you will enjoy. Also, leave it a thumbs up. Please, now, I will wait. I will not start this video until you give me a thumbs up. It helps me so, so much. It is free, it's quick, and it helps me a lot. It shows YouTube that this video is cool, it's great, it's awesome, and it's relevant to a lot of people. That way, it will reach more and more people. So let's make this community grow. Okay, so in this list, I mixed documentaries, movies, and docu-series. They, they, I have three films and two series here. The first one is called Spiracy. It's such a famous documentary. It's from 2014 and it focuses on the environmental issues that factory farming has on our planet. And it also explains how this industry is destroying more and more our environment and what we can do to help. It also says why this issue has been ignored by major environmental groups and this is something that I didn't know so it's mind-blowing. It's only one hour and a half uh, as most documentaries, the documentary not that long and it is super worth watching. The second one it's also one hour and a half. It is from 2017 and the name is great. It's called What the Health. And this documentary basically uh, addresses all ages and um, it focuses more on health. So it tells us how plant-based diet is one of the best diets that exists and how all of the diseases that are out there can be caused by a certain diet, by the way you eat, so it explores a lot of that. So what the hell for you that are starting to know a little bit more about veganism and plant-based diet and are not so sure, for you who thinks that vegans don't get their protein or don't know where they get their protein from, this documentary is for you. I highly recommend it. I love this documentary. The Game Changers is my third pick. It's from 2018. It's one hour and 25 minutes. And it's one of the latest uh, documentaries. I even thought actually that it was from 2019 or 20 because it's so recent. The executive producer is Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, he is vegan and he is awesome. I talked about him in a video. I'll link it up here, the video about vegan celebrities. And uh, this is so awesome. This documentary, it's more, I think I watched two times. Uh, I have to watch more. I have to watch them like a lot of times because they have so much information. But this one here focuses more on the athletes and how they can maintain their exercise routine or even get better by, ad in many cases, get better by adopting a plant-based diet. So they interview a lot of vegan athletes. There's also doctors talking on this documentary and they explain how the plant-based diet makes the body better in every way. So there are a lot of studies. Basically, there are a lot of massive strong men on this documentary. I think to break, to demystify the this thought that for you to be strong, big and healthy you have to eat meat because you don't so there are a lot of vegan uh, weight lifters here so this documentary is a must watch i love it very very much 
My fourth pick for this list, it is Night on Earth. This is a limited series. It came out in 2020. It has only six episodes and it is not uh, about veganism. It's more about... No, that has nothing to do actually with veganism. It's more like um, Animal Planet, National Ge Geographic kind of thing. So it shows us animals as we never seen them before at night. So they use night vision cameras and they capture some super interesting footage and habits that the the animals might have. So every episode has more or less 50 minutes and each episode is about one thing. So there's one that's called Frozen Nights. It takes place in very cold uh, environments. Another one is Dark Seas, so it's underwater. Uh, another one is Jungle Nights. The other one is Leafless Cities. So the animals within a city, like a busy metropolitan city. So it is amazing. I love this series. It's, the, it's very therapeutic to watch. Sometimes I sit by the sofa and I watch the entire episode and sometimes I just let it play and I would do something else. And it's so calming, so like therapeutic to watch. It's such incredible footage of animals. There is some parts that I don't like. I enjoy more seeing their behavior, uh, their family, interactions rather than a prey and a hunter relationship i don't enjoy watching that at all but there are some amazing footages on this docuseries so if you're interested in that there's a narrator also a woman explaining what is going on so it's pretty cool so if you like stuff like that i'm sure you will enjoy this docuseries so before we go to the last one, make sure to subscribe if you're not already and leave it a like. I don't think you have an idea of how much it helps me. It helps me so, so much. So go down here and click on that button. It's quick and it's free. And also make sure to leave it a comment. Have you ever watched any of these films or this docuseries? What did you think? Are they on your list? And also leave the names of the ones that I haven't spoken. This is going to be a series, so I will be making more as I watch documentaries because I love watching documentaries. And if you do too, leave it in the comments below so I know that you enjoy this kind of content. So moving on to the last one, it's one of my favorites. It's because I love him so, so much. This series is Down to Earth with Zac Efron. Oh my God, I love Zac Efron. I think he's so talented, so cool, so awesome. And when I saw that he was doing that, this is like my kind of thing. I love to watch that stuff. I love to live that stuff, but also to watch. So when I saw him, Zac Efron, plus traveling down the world and experiencing new adventures and stuff, it doesn't get better than this. So in this docuseries, it is from 2020. It only has one season until now. I hope they do much more because it's so entertaining, so interesting, so cool. They have uh, eight episodes on the first season. So basically every episode he travels to a different country. So he traveled to Iceland, France, Costa Rica, Sardinia, Lima, Puerto Rico, London and Iquitos in Amazonia. Every episode has more or less 30 to 46 minutes and basically him and his friend Darian, I love Darian also, they, they are both executive producers. Darian is vegan and he's interested in healthy living as well as Zac Efron. So they travel to those countries and they learn about the sustainability that each country uh, provides and they learn also about the culture of the place. They go around meeting interesting people and they just learn so, so much. And we learn with them by watching the series. So it's absolutely amazing. I couldn't recommend it more. It's one of my favorites and I can't wait to have other seasons. So that was my list for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. So what did you think about my picks? Have you watched any of them? Are they on your list? Do you have plans to watch them? Do you have zero interest in watching them? Let me know. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.